Yeah, the people who were at uh, Iroquois Point, I think we need to include them with uh, everything that we're doing as a total community. And in order to do that, we need to make sure that we're at least taking that step forward to um, address some of their concerns. And the only way we can do this, as we discussed last month, was to uh, have some sort of meeting. And uh, like Glenn had just mentioned, uh, he had actually chaired the uh, first portion of our meeting a couple months back. and. Uh, came out with some pretty good results opposed to uh, some of the things that we started looking into. Uh, somebody else stepped forward and indicated that they wanted to take part in this and uh, like it's already been identified, the ball was dropped. So uh, I would like to ask Glenn if he would like to go ahead and pick this up again. Please notify me within the next couple days. Let me know where we are and I will help you coordinate uh, the attendance of that and uh, along with Kurt uh, as far as making contact with the uh, facility area uh, again please understand this is not a neighborhood board special meeting of any type this is a community meeting that we're trying to pull the community together and let them know that we have an interest in what they're doing and they should be a part of what we're doing okay so Glenn um, for you, if you don't mind, please get a hold of me and uh, Kurt, get a hold of me and we'll make sure that we get the people together and get people informed when this meeting is going to take place. Okay? Uh, Mr. Right. Chair, uh, uh, Wait, Scott, a, sorry. Uh, point of clarification, are we, are we aiming for November, December? There's a general objective, it's all depending well, on the weather. Okay, first of all, let me, let me uh, say this again. Um, Glenn is going to go ahead and take the uh, chair on the ad hoc committee for this uh, meeting. And uh, after he makes contact with me, we'll identify and make an announcement out to everybody. Question. For your information, I'm Scott. It shouldn't take long because I reserve Manana Elementary School, and it took me only about a week. And I did reserve it for a year on certain days of the month. So uh, it shouldn't take long. Okay. All right, sounds good. And I don't suspect it'll take that long anyway. So the, the, the thing is, we, we just want to get the communities together. Uh, there seem to be out there, and there's been some word of the fact that they're not getting information from us, and we want to make sure that we close that loop. Okay. Any other questions? Concerns? Okay. Can we move forward? Thank you. Yes, wait. One more item from the whole business. Oh. Okay, Mr. Chair, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, there, there's an issue that uh, not all of us get the mail personally. Uh, some have, some have not gotten the, thank you. Some did, some did not get uh, the mail regarding the request from the city and county for our neighborhood board to comment on the draft transit-oriented development bill. Uh, Comments are due by by November 30th, so the the, the date for mailing was October 23rd, and so it did I think has passed uh, your opportunity to get it on the agenda. But it's something that we're going to run out of opportunity to make any comment or even be aware of it. Uh, should uh, unless we bring it up at this point. So what it is is transit-oriented development. What it is, what it is, is a draft proposal for how we're going to to zone it and how we're going to move forward with neighborhood transit-oriented development plans. Um, the big picture is that as we move forward with a fixed guideway and we try to determine what mode will be used, be it rail or whatnot. The city has said, okay, we're going to go to every community and we're going to seek their input for the development around the transit stations. So, there must be a framework by which we begin to discuss what the neighborhood transit-oriented development plans are, hence this draft legislation that we should comment on. So that's the big picture, and uh, we should we should maybe find a few moments here for a discussion on that. Veto. 
Get it? Go ahead. This is chair. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Let the board discuss this. Go ahead. Now, I received this last week. We've always commented on the rail and what's going on. A synopsis of this is the city council is putting in a bill for an ordinance to follow guidelines to set up for this Todd plan. And it lists, I won't read them all. However, one item down here, the plan shall be consistent with applicable regional, regional development plans, which is our EVA development plan, which is fine by me. So all I was bringing this up to the board, only part of us got this on the board. If we want to make a comment, this board by the November 30th deadline. And my suggestion would be to say yes, to this, although the board members didn't read all this, if you want to read it, it just follows the guidelines set forth here relating to transit or in development. It even says in here for uh, homeless housing, which I don't think we'll need to address that. If Todd uh, Poe was here, he could talk about it, or his girl, or yes. Sorry. Please let the mayor If I could just add that um, when the measure is before the full full council, the full body, you also have an opportunity to testify on that measure that's before them and provide your comments at public testimony. So the fact that this deadline, you, you don't have it on tonight's agenda, that's another opportunity for you to um, provide your comments. Okay, except for it will miss our next board meeting also. Well, it still needs, it's going through the public review process. DPP then will introduce it or, or transmit it to the city council. So you've got the month of um, January, possibly, before it even gets to the city council for the board to take the measure up. This board has missed deadlines before for our comments. Okay, all right. This is true. This is true. All right, stand, stand by. Yeah, one, one second. Here, go ahead. Go ahead. Is, is, is this under the uh, use of your you guys got the um, letters, but I don't think I did. Is this on the website, you guys think? Is, is this well, on the I'm website? On the mail me, so I'm on the mailing list. Should be. Okay. Well, but again, it's just for us to come okay. and say, uh, we go along with this bill. Okay, I would like to make a motion. And we can't put it on. We'll put it, we'll put it on. Okay, uh, Glenn, real quick. Let me, let me first comment. There's two issues on the floor. One is uh, uh, preparation to comment on the outline of, of the, uh, the steps you're gonna follow. He's talking about Todd, that, that, that uh, uh, transportation, uh, how we're gonna develop that area around the, uh, the station. The station. The station. Transit-oriented development. That's, he's talking about that, and you're talking about following the guidelines for the for, for same thing. This, this no, it's, no, it's two different things. Glenn, it's Glenn. Two different things. I, I went to that Todd one, and again, Mr. Chair, there's two different items that he's talking about. Yeah. The transportation-oriented district, again, uh, was presented the first time at Waipaho. And it's going yeah, to be presented again. Yeah, it, it will be brought up again. And this, we, we understand that. Not but that let, not, it's no. going to be brought up again. That okay, time. Glenn, Glenn. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is right, that quickly. again, the city had sidestepped uh, Eva Beach by participating in the process. Right. And that's what we're identifying right and, here. And, and so, up so, to this point, we don't know nothing about Todd. We don't know nothing about the rail in general. And this is why and, we want to get clarification, Glenn. Hold on one second, okay? We're trying to get clarification on that. And what's okay. happening is, what we're being presented with tonight, which is, by the way, not on the agenda, but what we're being presented is, um, letters have been sent out, and not all the board members have received, okay? The issues are related to a deadline that we're trying to address, absolutely, absolutely. okay? Now, uh, Joyce has just uh, identified that there is still an opportunity for us to look into this and make some input. Okay. But, but now, I think we're down the track. I think well, the train is running. The train it, is it, running with these. It guys. definitely is. Ten okay. years down the road, Glenn. And we the understand time, that. The, 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 Glenn, the train Glenn. Will stop at the station. Okay, Glenn. Let us try to address this accordingly, so we can put okay. some meat okay. into this whole action. Okay. Yes. Now, first of all, uh, we do have a um, 
uh, a chair over here for uh, transportation and planning, both transportation and planning. And uh, I would like to have them to address that and uh, look at the concerns that Jeff brought up in reference to making sure that we have input, okay? Now, if we're able to follow that same line of uh, uh, correspondence that uh, Joyce had just mentioned from the mayor's office, then it sounds like we'll still have an opportunity to make input. So we have to take this at a step at a time. I understand your concerns, and I understand everybody, what, what they're talking about. But because the item is not on the agenda, we do need to move on. We are addressing it, and we want to go ahead and take care of it. Let me, let me address Jeff's. He mentioned the EVA development plans. Yeah. The EVA development plans have never been finalized. Okay. okay, we understand we that. It is, suggestions and it is still, it's still not but finalized. It, but please, it, it, bear with us, bear with us a little bit, okay? We're referring it to committee, we're going to let them take care of it, and then we will get back and make sure everybody is informed. Okay, Ms. Les, if you don't mind. Uh, Chair and, Richard, I would like to ask you to, um, uh, to formulate in your mind if you think we have enough time to put it on the agenda, and if it's that critical of an issue at this point. Um, Can I address that? Wait, it is kind right, of critical, right. because I would like this board to go on record either for or against this bill for the ordinance. Yes. And I, I can read it all to you once. For me, you guys know me, I look into stuff. I don't mind how this reads. I just want this board to meet that deadline on November 30th. Chair. And I think we can. Chair, I'd like to make a motion that the transit-oriented development draft plan zoning bill available for review be placed on the agenda for this evening. I'll second that. Mr. Chair, can I object to that? No, no, no. No, no. no you cannot object to it. Thank There's you. A second to it. We need All right, we have a uh, motion on the floor. It has been seconded. Chair, right. I have uh, very brief comments. Quickly. Um, regarding the uh, language, in this bill for fourth ordinance, there's some subject matter here which is uh, important to us. No matter what, it's going to still take us in Ella Beach 30 minutes to get to any nearest uh, transit rail station. But the language in here um, has an emphasis on trying to reduce those who utilize their automobiles for transit. One of them in here says to uh, eliminate the uh, required ordinances for the required number of off-street parking spaces so that the transit-oriented development area will eliminate and reduce parking spaces. Also, we have a shortage of police officers. It does not address the transit station authority of any type of security. We have elevators of which are owned by the state and the city that they cannot fix. This will have some 20 to 30 elevators. Okay. Also, it doesn't, and I, my minute's not up. Well, it I also does not address, do it also does not floor. address if there's graffiti or mayhem or whatever's going on. Do we, the community, have to wind up cleaning up these transit stations and adopting them and painting out the graffiti as well? Because this thing is very, uh, a well, shell that is incomplete. <laughs> Okay, you uh, made a motion. It was on. It was seconded. No, it's in discussion. So I call for the question to put it. We gotta get. We gotta put it on the agenda. All right, we got a motion on the floor, and we do have a second. And there is a call for the question. All in favor? Roll call. Roll call. Oh, you want a roll call? Yeah, All right, roll call vote. May I have Jeff Alexander? Yes. Anne Atkinson? Yes. Gary Bautista? Yes. Mr. Beamer? Yes. Staff Belford? Yes. Tom Bird? Yes. Chair Hargrave? Yes. Mitchell Tanani? Yes. Do you want to go back into the discussion? Okay. It's on the agenda officially now. All right, now it's officially on the agenda. Thank you, board members. Now, discussion. Well, we're good. We know what's going on. Now it's going on. Community. 
Yeah. So let's. I don't think I can more than me. Come on, give me a chance. No, I just okay. Out of the way. Um, I guess you were at the White Pahu. <coughs> um, was it you? And uh, I guess Willie was over there, and I don't know who else was there, but had quite a bit of people there. But anyway, my question to them, the radius on how far each resident needs to be away from those trains, uh, from the rail, how many people are they going to displace, where are they going to be displacing, and what they're going to do to relocate those people. I mean, those answers just couldn't be, they couldn't answer those things. So, uh, we're not addressing yeah. those specific. Yeah. All the city council is doing is getting an ordinance going so we can get rail going. And to give you an example, here's another one. I quoted one. The planning process shall consider economic and market analysis and infrastructure analysis, including capacities of water, sewer, and roadway systems, where appropriate public-private partnership opportunities shall be investigated. You folks know how I hate development, but when it says roads here, I'm in it. And all I want to do is just board the comment by the November 30th deadline, so we got our comment. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, there's something called an EIS, which the city has to do uh, in order to get the, the rail off, off the ground. And I think, I think we've got to look at day one. When the city decided to come up with rail, and they proceeded along and quickly eliminated Eva Beach from the whole process. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this area, this area was the most populated before Kapolei and Mahakilo was around. And, and we, today we still continue to suffer with traffic and with the people, with, with development and the people coming into our area. And, and the convenience of, of government just to sidestep Eva Beach and say, Eva Beach don't need it, but we need it. Okay. So now they've gone into, into Waipawa and further on down the road. Yeah. What we're doing, Jeff, is giving them a blank, blank check to proceed and say, Eva Beach, you're off the map. They are going with rail. I'm not talking They're, about rail. I'm yeah. talking about the oh, bill yeah. for an ordinance. That's the ordinance. Oh, That's the ordinance. Okay, that okay. They Glenn, consider our Glenn. input into that. All right, plan. Glenn, thank you. Okay, my question is roads. All yeah, right, you talk about so roads. So roads before or after the rail? Celeste. So so let's. Okay. Please make a motion, Scott. He's got his hand Wait. Scott. Scott. Mr. Chair, uh, this could possibly get very confusing and distressful to the community. So let's let's just call a timeout. Here's the here's the fundamental concept behind this. Prior to the adoption of any transit-oriented development special district. There shall be a neighborhood transit-oriented development plan which serves as the basis for special or for specific special district regulations. Each plan shall address at minimum following. This is nothing more than the city saying, hey, community, Glenn, before we go do a station in Waipapa, we want you to be part of it. But we're government, so we got to have a framework for participation. So here's the framework. Neighborhood board, give us some feedback. You support it with reservations. You don't. And then you can chew into everything that's a legitimate concern. We don't want to. We don't want to belabor a point that is. Uh, uh, it'll be pointless at, the, at this moment. We can't take any action. We don't know what to point resist. to be labor. Can you add to that, Chair? Excuse me. The last paragraph. The plan shall be submitted to the applicable neighborhood boards at least 45 days prior to submittal to the City Planning Commission. The City Planning Commission shall hold a public hearing and transmit its recommendations to the City Council. The City Council shall adopt the plan by resolution with 60 days of receipt, or it shall be deemed adopted. There's other steps. We're just making comments by the November 30th that their plan here is We got Kurt up. Take a break. See, ex exactly what what was just said before, I, I mean, now it's being said, but it's right now, it's only in DPP, okay, we, and the, what the city is asking is comments, and then when this thing come out, move forward, then we can nitpick and pretty much chew everything out, but right now, we're getting into stuff like elevators, um, skipping Ever Beach, I'm going to let you know, the rail and the stations will not skip Ever Beach as long as I'm alive, so that will never happen. So 
What I'm saying is that what Jeff and, and, and um, Scott is saying, you guys take a stand, review what we're going to do, put in you guys' input, that's it. Our community will put in input, our board will put in our input. There's no um, complication in that. You know, just put in our input and then we get our feedback what we put in. Okay. Scott. Sorry, Mr. Sorry. Chair, I move we support this with reservations. I'll second that. Mr. Chair, again, let's... Wait, we have a motion on the floor. Let me uh, clear this, the motion. This first. is a precursor. Okay, this is a precursor. All right, Glenn, you're not even giving me a chance to finish the action here, okay? All right, we have a motion on the floor. It has been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, pass. All right. Okay. Your last comment, please. Okay. This is what Jeff is presenting is a precursor to the EIS. They want community boards to have input. It's a done deal. They want no ever beach, whatever beach is thinking about the rail out there, what the transit station is all about, and you just we, we're just going along with the program. That's what it is. We're not taking a stand for ever beach. We're, we're taking a all. stand for that. When they come back with exact implements, all I'm addressing is the ordinance right now, and it reads fine. Okay. There's no specifics. Okay. All right. We got it. Thank you. Or Chair Richard Grave, I just want to, you know, make sure here for clarification that we have actually, we have voted without uh, all the yeas for, to, for this. Is that correct? Correct. For this, which is correct. So we can, uh, agenda, so we can put so, some input in. Okay. November 30th. Yes, we have deadline. to put. We're always up against these deadlines. We got a we're deadline that we have to satisfy. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. We're going to move on. Sit down, Glenn. Hold on. Uh, let, let's go on to, to uh, uh, Scotty's. Scotty's TOT, the transit station orientation. That's another thing that's coming up for well, another meeting. When, when it comes up, then we can address uh, that. I think we got to participate Glenn. because they're sidestepping it. Okay, Glenn. Yeah, let me uh, move on. We've already uh, voted on that action, so we can move on. Okay, HPD. Good evening. Uh, thank uh, you for uh, thank you for your patience. Oh, of course, of course. We were, uh, the last time we were here before the wonderful meeting under the stars. Yes, that was and, a good uh, meeting. It was a great. It was a very good meeting, and at that. At, at that time, uh, there, was, there was more than myself. I'm Captain Ray and Chera. Uh, with me is uh, Lieutenant Mark Ward, uh, Major William Cher, and uh, our new Assistant Chief, uh, Kevin Lima. And basically, at, at that time, we, int we, we introduced the idea of equipment for our Homeland Security Division uh, to, be put, to be stored in Building 22 of the Ever Villages site. At that time, we got some wonderful input from the board and the community regarding going to the Eva Villages Community Association to, uh, to get their support, and we did. Uh, each of you have a letter signed by the, uh, from, from the Eva Villages community, basically uh, giving us unanimous support for this particular concept. And uh, at this point, I'd like to turn the, uh, the presentation over to Assistant Chief Lima to, uh, to follow up. Good evening, board. Um, exactly what um, Captain Inchera said is uh, yeah. we did follow through with your request to meet with the uh, Ella Villages Association, and they did provide us uh, their support, and we're back here to uh, ask for your support in this regard uh, and to clarify any questions that you might have in regards to what we want to do. Uh, in general, what we want to do is utilize the Eva Mill for storage. Uh, it is it is not something that we're going to be visiting on a daily basis and and uh, contributing to traffic to this uh, neighborhood. Uh, it's basically for uh, long-term storage. We do intend to do maintenance and things like that, but you probably will notice us. We, it's not going to make a lot of noise or add to your traffic congestion. But I'm here certainly to uh, ask for your support. Uh, I think um, what our intentions are are pretty clear, but I, I, I certainly want to answer any questions that you might have. Okay, board members. Jeff? Uh, I'm all for this. Has there been a dollar figure assigned to it to renovate this building and make it all nice and nice for you guys? Um, we millions, right? We're talking a million, a million two. I, I know that building gets trashed. Uh, well, just to clarify things, 
it's uh, it's a preservation type of building, so things cannot be historical. Thank you. So things can't be done to it, uh, change the out outward appearance, things yeah, like that. You still have to renovate it to make it lockable, put the windows in, yeah. the lighting, the electric. Absolutely. Going to run some money. Absolutely, and um, with our attempts to go into the building, we have funds to take care of some of that. Yeah. But the city is going to do minimal amount of uh, renovations for us. It doesn't need a lot. We're, we're, we're not going to have like offices or in, the, in there, right. anything like that. It's basically going to be for storage. No so, air conditioning. Um, no. no, no, no. Right. I'll make a motion that our neighborhood board submit have a comment. comment. But then we'll get it on the agenda. Never mind. I'm first. No, no, no. I make a motion that our neighborhood board support the request to turn building no. into. I'm still. I have a question for you. Uh, sir, I live in the area, so I see that building every day, and it's a big wall, beautifully painted, and it's a target for the tagging people. It has been tagged twice already, and it has been repainted twice already. Um, will the police or the city um, spend a little bit money like they did in uh, Chinatown so they can put some cameras so they can catch the people tagging? Okay, good question. Certainly, us placing important resources there, we're going to secure it. It's going to involve fencing, it's going to involve cameras, it's going to involve things that are going to protect our assets. Um, and collaterally, it'll probably help the area too. Yeah. I think that's what you're getting at, right? Um, we also will ask our patrol officers to go there because it's going to be an HPD facility, even though no one's going to be there most of the time, to, to check on that area. So will there be an increase? Yes. No, that, my, my, my comment was that it's just a beautiful area. It's a beautiful place for the taggers to tag. <laughs> I mean, that was just my comment. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. It has been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, you guys can go. We should, have, we should have put them on. I didn't know why they were standing there. Is it? You didn't do it. Okay. Is there any, uh, any nays? Any opposed? Unanimous. Okay. Can I please ask for um, support in terms of a letter to uh, Councilman Oppo's office as well as He'll send out his chair Mayor's office? Mayor's office. Copy I'd appreciate that. And put a camera in front of Gary's house. He's got a lot of stuff in his yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you very much. Okay. We have a, uh, yeah, Rita? I'm sorry, Representative. Well, actually, I'm here to express my uh, disappointment about the subject matter. Not that I don't like the policemen, but I think that those bu those buildings were supposed to be for the revitalization of Eba villages, and they're supposed to be a place for general marketplace. And I'm really disappointed with uh, the uh, with how the city is treating it, because that's supposed to be for the enjoyment of the people of Eba villages, not to be a storage place. So I would like to be on record to say that I don't support the plan. Okay. Deb? Um, the Evolutionary Program is actually taking mm -hmm. steps. Sorry. Um, I think the police department is asking to use one of the buildings within that complex. The Evolutionary Program is taking steps to um, try to convert the rest of the buildings, or at least part of the buildings, to um, be used as an open market community center type. Um, the only 22 is the small one on the end. There's oh, actually people. several buildings. There's two large warehouses, and they're talking about using one of them. Right. The other warehouse is still available for you. So um, we're in the process now of going out with an RFP to hire a consultant to go out into the community to actually solicit input as to what the community wants. It's been quite a while since um, I think the community was last surveyed, and so um, needs have, or desires might have changed over time. So okay. that, that will be happening within the next few months. Okay, good. Thank you. Any other comments? Yeah, Board Chair Hargrave, I'd like to say, you know, I don't think this measure 
takes away from any plans that we have in the area. You know, the plans are still there. They're all going to be built out. Probably a lot of them we don't even know. But uh, that's for different subject. But I will say that, you know, it, it's a good thing. The residents are for it. It helps to secure the area. You have more law enforcement presence. It's not a permanent location. Uh, the only other thing is that you're going to need lighting and you're going to need new wiring and stuff because a lot of the infrastructure has been removed. But, you know, it, it, I, I don't think that we should cast any kind of a negative, you know, shadow on it. Let's, you know, it's like everything. Let's start somewhere and let's work with it. Work with the police to forgive us their difficulty of having space on a small island. Okay, thank you. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't disagree with it. I'm kind of in favor of it, but um, if they comply with the historical uh, preservation district, I'm for it. But I, I think that it, in generally, uh, I think it should be an active area where family can participate. I think uh, uh, the policeman coming in there would, would create a dead area where, you know, I mean, there's no participation on the usage of that portion of the building. And I think it should be an active place. Uh, I think they, if, there's a, if, is there, if there's a conflict, I think they should look for an alternate site. If there's a conflict with the community, I think uh, an alternate site should be investigated and looked into and leave it to the people and the community. But generally, I'm in favor of it. Okay, thank so you. The question could be posed to them. Have they complied? Have you guys investigated what the, what the parameters and the restrictions are with the historic preservation? Good evening. Let me respond to some of the comments that were just made. My name is Eugene Lee. I'm the director of the Department of Design and Construction. Actually, for your information, this, before this issue of the police potentially using one of the warehouses for their storage purposes, we, were, we did have a project underway already to renovate those two buildings. We call them Building 22 and 25. And they are historical buildings, and that's what we're doing. We're restoring the building. Uh, to comply with the historical requirements. Those two buildings were targeted to be warehouses, city warehouses. Uh, they weren't targeted to be used for any other purpose other than warehouse space. And as we were going through this, I don't know if you recall, I uh, did a press conference in January of this year pointing out all the graffiti and vandalism that was taking place while the project was under construction. Then this idea of the police coming, um, taking one of the warehouses seemed like a very good idea because it would increase police presence in that area and be a discouragement to that kind of activity. So we thought it was a, a very good win-win situation. Again, it, these were always intended to be warehouses and we don't feel it's taken away from the community but actually providing a benefit to the community to have the police presence there. And um, I hope that clarifies some of the issues. Okay, thank you. Kurt? And we, uh, we're going to move on and wrap well, this. Well, you know, Sarah when Daniel's coming on. She I tried. Know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the, community, the community over there is going to be sticking, uh, Gary. Uh, Ever Villages Historical Homeowners Association, um, if I'm not mistaken, supports this uh, um, event or whatever, this, this place. I support it. Um, whatever is going to be positive or any kind of police in the area, we take it, you know, whatever way we can. Um, another thing is that... Um, any of you officers want to go on a scaffold on November 17th? <laughs> uh, thank you. Hello, donations. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, sir, thank you very much. Okay, uh, we'll work on that letter and get it out to you. All right, we're on a freeze frame. Okay, uh,